Will, obviously, a lot of turnovers on both sides in this game. How, how big were those interceptions and those stops on fourth down for the defense to kind of maintain, you know, momentum you guys were trying to build? Uh, it was huge, uh, the way they the way they got stops there at the end. And really all throughout the game, you know, we, I mean, they got a turnover and then we gave it right back, you know, we gave it right back to them, um, which is just awful on our part. We have to do a better job of, uh, getting the right plays on and really just taking care of the ball once we have uh, reception. How important was that fourth down touchdown to Austin there? I think early fourth quarter that was. Oh, it was huge. I mean, I think we tried to draw them off sides, and then I don't even know if we had a play on or not, but I just called something, you know, just because, I mean, it was open. So, yeah, it was a good play, and it was a pretty big momentum shifter right there, you know, to be able to get seven right there. You know, we really – Thought we did a pretty bad job in the red zone tonight. I think we need to do a better job of, you know, scoring touchdowns and uh, less field goals. What's what's the feeling about you know it's a 22 point win on the road over a power five team and yet it feels like it was just kind of a weird game. Like what's what's your take from it? I think we played pretty bad at times. Uh, I think we can play a lot better. And I, I don't want to be like negative. You know, I'm so proud of like the team and the way we the way we come out here to win a night game. And I mean, you know, it's two o'clock back home or whatever. But I'm proud of the team and things like that. But you know, we have so much to work on. And you know, we're we're about to find out what we're made of this week for sure. How much fun is it being to see Caleb Ducking kind of do it on the field now when it matters mm -hmm. most? It's awesome. You know, it's you know he waited his turn, especially with last year and how how good Mikhail was and things like that. But you know, I think it says a lot about his character and the way he's worked. The running game, too, you guys have gotten a little fancier. You used to just run edges and a little halfback lead there early in the ball game for a big game there. How have you kind of seen this running game evolve in maybe the last year or so? I mean, it's just been a, it's just been a work in progress. You know, I think we've had a lot of guys up front that have played a lot of games. Um, so, you know, it's a combination of guys up front with a lot of experience and then two of the best backs in the league at what they do. So um, I think it's a combination of those two things that have been building up for the past three years. Leach was talking about you and Austin being all buddy-buddy off the field is the, the phrase he used, I guess. Just how much does that relationship off the field kind of translate to, you know, you guys had two big plays there at the goal line between, you know, you and Austin? Yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, last week we were kind of talking in the kitchen and he was just like, I didn't know he had. I think he had one catch last week for like one yard or something. It was like right that. at the goal line. Yeah, it's pretty some pretty bad stat lines <laughs> right there. But I you know I joked around with him about that, and I just told him, you know, like in our offense, you know, like we had five different guys catch five touchdowns last week. You know, like it's gonna be it's gonna be somebody's night. You know, you never know who it's gonna be. And, you know, obviously I don't know how many catches he had or anything like that, but he caught two big touchdowns for us. Um, so yeah, I guess tonight was was his night. On that, the last one there on the, the fourth and four, I mean, you passed there into a, a pretty tight window to get it to him. Huh. Is that just something that you guys have practiced a million times? And is that a pass that, you know, freshman year Will Rogers would have had the confidence to make? Yeah, probably not. Probably not my freshman year. It's just it's just a play that I've run so much. And Austin has been there. I th we scored on that play. I mean, I know we scored on that, that same play, like egg ball my freshman year to Austin. So we've, we've done a lot of times um, together. So we kind of we kind of know where it's going to hit. And uh, it was kind of one of those where I just kind of threw it, hoped he was there. Anything else? Yeah, you talked about, you know, Caleb and the performance he had. I know he had a, a big drop that led to interception. I guess what do you and, – and then Jameer had that fumble too. I guess what do you say to your guys after, you know, plays like that? Who cares? You know, I mean, I'm, I think – I don't know if Caleb caught a pass the next drive or not, but he caught two more passes on that exact same play. So, I mean, who cares? I'm about to, I'm about to throw the ball right to you again. you got to go make a play. You're going to break one of those speed options eventually? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I, I've got my feet. I run like I have concrete in my feet, man, so I'll stick to throwing the ball. So. All right, first question, Book, yeah. How much trouble are the other defenders going to give you in the film room for you not scoring on, on the pick there? Uh, probably a lot. I ain't going to lie. You know, in the summer, I always said I was fast. And then right there, it just happened. So you know, I, I told him I'd get it back, though. So. But take us through that play. That was a huge play in the ball game. Uh, it's just um, – I remember Coach Arnett saying that we need some big plays, big time players, make big plays. So all I remember is tired week, you know, back in the past, and I saw the ball in here. All I saw was get the ball, and that just happened. I think it was Tyrus with the deflection on that. I mean, he had a few plays there where he got into the backfield, also some good plays in pass coverage. What kind of what kind of player is he? What does he add to this defense to to make you know those big turnovers that you guys need? 
Oh, he a big impact player, you know, he an athlete. So having that athlete on the edge and then having me and Jen in the box, and having the other rest of the D-line in that box, it just gives a lot more energy for us. When you guys can get those fourth down stops, how much confidence <clears throat> does give your offense after maybe they make a turnover and you guys can have their back? Uh, you just rely on each other. So just uh, being able to get that stop and get the ball back to the defense, it helped, it helped the offense go in and push it in for a touchdown. So. Three picks for the defense tonight, and almost twice as many as that. Was there something you guys saw on film that made you feel like you could get some tonight? Uh, you just saw on film that quarterback stares at the routes. So, like, Coach harped on it all week about him staring on the routes, and when we got to the game, he was staring on them then, so it really helped us. Arizona scored on the first drive, but it seemed like the defense really locked down after that point. I don't think they had any more drives, you know, outside of turnovers. What, what did y'all do defensively to kind of – Sustain things after that first drive. Oh, we just we just told each other we got each other back. Uh, you know, first drive they punched it in, and then we had a uh, regroup. So after we regrouped, we knew we had each other back, and we just went out there and fought. You played a team too that obviously had an impressive win in week one. They get a big crowd here tonight. How important was it to go out there and kind of get the crowd out of the game early? Uh, it was big. You know, they getting loud for the offense. Just having to uh, get that. Get the crowd out of it and be able to have offense, be able to score and communicate. It means a lot. The last couple of weeks, you know, Will has talked about you know negative plays that you guys had, maybe some inconsistency you guys have had. I guess what kind of confidence does it give you to you know walk out two and zero despite you know maybe feel like you guys can still play even better than you have? Uh, it's just a lot of confidence. You know, the practice of uh, when we all have bad plays, we don't, we don't look we don't look back at it. You know, we we correct in the film room. We just preach on the next play. Like going one over the next place, so that's all we preach on. So. Having played this game on the road, do you think that helps going into another road game next week? You know, some of the young guys getting this experience here. Oh yeah, you know, going to Death Valley, they're gonna be a good environment. So, uh, and having this late game and last late last week late game, you know, just having both games back to back late and then possibly having another you late and uh, being on the road, it's just gonna help us better ourselves. Could you guys feel like how late it was? So the other so what? Could you guys feel just how late it was toward the end of this game? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah I ain't gonna lie to you. Knew it was my bedtime. <laughs>